trying to grab some attention here. Hello, everybody. Dr. Troy Dukowitz here. And um, I want to talk to you about the power of a question. Now, you've heard the expression, the power of the question determines the power of the answer. Today, I want to talk to you about this question. That's right. I want to talk to you about the question, what if? Now, if you follow me at all, you know that I have three, count them, three boys. Wyatt, who is seven, Watson, who is four, and Walker, who is going to be pushing five months here in about a week. What I love about listening to Wyatt and Watson talk is they go through phases. Well, I guess they go through them and they stay in phases. It starts with the why. Everything becomes why. Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? It's a very purposeful discussion. It's a great discussion to have when you're talking about the why. Then there moves into this phase of what if. Now, if any of you have kids, you've been here before, you know that the question what if pops up all the time. Hey, daddy, what if we lived in that house? Hey, daddy, what if our car could fly? Hey, daddy, what if we had that boat? Hey, daddy, what if our boat could fly? Hey, daddy, what if, what if, what if? What if we lived here? What if we went there? The question comes up all the time with kids. What if? And so the question I pose to you, because the beauty of this with children is, is that with children, they have the realization and understanding that anything is possible. The people who train it out of our children are the adults. We put the limitations on them. We are the ones who, who start telling them they can't do something, that that's not possible. But with children, they ask a really important question. What if? And so by asking the question, what if, I sometimes will pose it back to them. I don't know. What if our boat could fly? What if we did live there? I pose the question back to them because I want to hear where their mind's going to take us. Now, at first, when I'd be asked the question, I'd think, oh, my God, what if? Well, I don't know. I guess if we lived there, we'd be home by now. Not really creative enough for a child, but yet the answer was true. If we lived there and we didn't live here, then we would be at home if we were by that place. But what I've realized is this question continues to come up over and over and over again is what if is asking what's possible. And so let's frame this, reframe this, and look at this in terms of our own lives. What if? What if you actually went all in, not just sat at a seminar and got all riled up and said, oh yeah, I'm all in, woo, I'm gonna go home and make magic happen, and two weeks later, nothing happens. What if you actually defined all in in your life? What if you define what committed meant in your life and you actually made those words mean something? What if? I'm doing it to you right now. What if? What if in your own health, you started to take it more seriously? I don't know. Maybe you're a person out there who knows that you need to start working out. You need to start eating right. You need to start going to a chiropractor. Maybe you're a chiropractor who realizes that you're not getting checked enough, that you're going once a month and you should be going maybe once every two weeks. What if you started taking your recommendations that you would give to a patient? What if you started working out because you're telling them to start working out? What if you started eating right because you're telling them to eat right? Whatever it is in your life and your health, what if you started doing what you said you were going to do? What if in your spirituality? What if you actually started praying, not just talked about it? What if you actually started to read the Bible? What if you actually started to meditate to learn how to create calmness in the midst of all the chaos around us every day? What if you meditated? How would that help you to deal with challenges of life? What if you spent more time with your kids? What if you spent more quality time with your spouse? What if you actually seduced your wife, started flirting with her early in the week, only to make it to, to really have a crescendo into a beautiful, amazing date night at the end of the week? Seduce her for an entire week. I did a post on this last week. You seduce her for an entire week. You'll be thanking me come Saturday morning. What if, ladies, you seduced your man? Guys, thank me later. What if you seduced your man? What if you flipped the table and you started seducing him? What if, as a couple, you started flirting with each other more? What if you started holding hands more? What if we actually communicated? What if, in your business, you actually walked in and did the things that you said you were going to do? What if you actually had a team meeting? What if you actually talked to your patients about stuff that mattered? What if you actually talked to them about their successes under your care, their successes as clients of yours? What if? See, what we start to understand is the simple, simple question 
can open up doorways in our life. It can open up a pathway to greater success if we ask a different question. Not, I can't do it because, but what if it were possible for me to start today? You take these areas of body, being, balance, and business, what I'm talking about right now, and you pick one area and say, what if, what if I just dove in right now? What if, what if I gave more attention to my spouse? What if I gave more attention to my kids? What if I actually started to work out and take better care of myself? What if I got a better night's sleep? What if I started praying more? What if I started meditating? What if I went into my office and I actually did the things I was telling my staff that I wanted to do? What if you did those things? What would happen in your life? And I would ask you to skip, sit right now and just consider this question. Consider this one question in your life right now and look across body, being, balance, and business and say, okay, where in my life? Where in my life do I need to go deeper on this and consider this in my own life and ask the question, what if? What if I took charge in area X? Where would I be 30 days from now? Where would I be six months from now if I focused in that one area? What if you just went all in instead of talking about it because it sounded good at a seminar? What if you just went all in on you? Double down on you. What if you got a coach? Hey, I'm a coach. Maybe we need to talk. Maybe we need to have an interview. Maybe there's somebody else out there. What if you got a coach? Somebody to stand by your side, kick you in the ass and get you moving forward in your life. What if? And I'm not just any coach, folks. Oh, no, no, no. There is a difference. What if you got a trainer? What if you finally went to the chiropractor and went to a chiropractor? I know chiropractors all over the country. What if you reached out to me to help you find a chiropractor? Think of the possibilities that exist by asking this one simple question. And then you follow it up with action. What if you took what I was saying today seriously into heart? And you actually sat down and looked at the three, four areas of your life, body, being, balance, and business, and you picked one. And what if in that one area, you picked one area to focus on, that one action that you need to focus on? And what if you did that over the course of the next 30 days? What if is a powerful question. When you follow it up by action, it opens up a new world of possibility for you and for me and for anyone who is brave enough to ask the question, and follow it up with real action. So hopefully you'll take this action right now. I'd love the interaction if you would share it down below in the comments. Otherwise, please hit like, hit share, write someone's name that you think could benefit from this powerful question of what if in their life. And then maybe just maybe we can help someone else to live a better quality of life, have a better relationship, have better health, all because you were willing to forward a simple message of what if. Hey, I'll ask it. What if you forwarded my message? What kind of impact could we have together? That's all I've got for you here today. I am Dr. Troy Dukewitz. This has been my inspired afternoon. I hope that some way, somehow, it helps you to have an inspired day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.